Diddy versus Olimar starting us off. So Shuton playing so hot on Aegis. Yeah. He's going to switch it right over. I like the pick coming out from Shuton. On paper, most would say this is uh, in Olimar's favor. Uh, this is a matchup that Diddy can struggle with. And I, not to the point where Tweak will switch. Mm -hmm. Tweak will usually kind of just run it with the Diddy Kong. I mean, we've seen uh, Tweak play against the Buzz many, many times. But of course, you know, different play style is Shuton. And I mean, we've known that because Shuton and the Buzz were rocking uh, Olimar quite some time. No doubt. This is just something where if you do get deep into stocks, like we've talked about this a lot, where Diddy, once you get to a certain point in the stock, you really have to rely on a kill setup that may or may not work. Olimar thrives in those environments because he can go for those kills pretty safely. I mean, not totally safely, not something that he could just kind of, like a Steve, throw out minecarts and anvils or whatever, but it is relative to the rest of the cast. He can kind of just send smash attacks at certain points, or aerials, you know, go for like a Ooh. pop aerial at a shield. He gets to eat Tweak, following him all the way to the top. Not quite enough to kill, but gets a lot of percent. Yeah, seriously. I mean, just the threat of that alone, just Tweak really putting together some custom combinations and giving herself a great chance to see right here. Yes, banana into up smash, take that all day. Yeah, mad time to actually, we didn't even have to go for like, you know, down to those smash, down to the back air. Just like, oh, you, you know, you're light. I got the damage already. We're good. Ooh, 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 oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We got this. Oh. Yeah. Oh Look goodness. at that damage output. Okay, <laughs> already at 72%. And I was going to say, something that's really tough for Diddy in this matchup is the damage output all Mars doing. But man, Tweak in the lab with these combos and just so much damage off of, a, you know, a couple of neutral interactions and some advantage state here. Tweak really on a roll here. We saw Tweak definitely in the building right now. Let me see it. Hold on. Let's get back to the stage. Man, let's do it here. Oh my goodness, that parry. Insane. Tweak playing with all the confidence in the Ooh. world as he should be. And it's nice to see, too, because, you know, loses that stock right there, but clearly not deterred um, from what happened in a winner's finals. Still playing very well. If he uses Diddy throughout the whole set, he might have a better shot. I feel like those Sephiroth games, unfortunately, just kind of learning. Like, yeah. he, he said Got some that, data. Yeah, he said he wanted data against uh, against Light in, you know, Sephiroth versus Fox, and he felt like this is the right tournament to do it and ended up winning. Maybe, you know, Diddy Cloud is just way better in that kind of scenario, at least right. with the way that he's playing. But... He's got to make it to Spargo, of course. This is not even close to being over. Shuton Ooh. even bringing this game back. Oh, my goodness, that down air. Yeah, the damage not looking. I mean, it's definitely looking uh, scary on both sides. Does find the oh, down man. to a back air. You know, even with the very high up DI, I uh, think he's going to be able to get up there in time to find the finisher. But he is hurting. Shuton's still in a great spot. He yeah. is, absolutely. I mean, how you know, considering how this thing had started to snowball, yeah, I'll, I'll take being in this position all day. Ooh, take the side oh, and does not get the down air though. Tweak actually messing up that confirm. Yeah, I don't think he actually. I don't Whoa. think he hit the banana. Jeez, tweak uh, on that one, so. Yeah, that was every aerial in Diddy's kit. <laughs> I think right. out there that was a little wild. Expecting a spot dodge maybe there. Uh, he just, uh, the fact that he just didn't rip the up smash with that hitting the shield like that is actually surprising. Right. Tell may maybe just not even fully expecting Tweak to even go for the monkey flip like that. So. But I always expect the monkey flip. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Diddy one on one. Only 64% on the shoots on. Olimar can do a ton of damage. We see a white Pikmin on the lineup as well. Getting attached. Okay, immediately getting rid of it though. We're not gonna let shoots on get the big combo starter with the white attached. Oh, wait Shuton. a minute, but there's the upper back here. Yep, that's exactly when he needed a lot of percent. Shuton, honestly, could just kind of play in shield and try to pick his right opportunity to hit Tweak coming out of it. You can see him doing that, playing a little bit more defensively. Has double mm. purple, he's gonna land one of them. That purple oh, is gonna do it, yeah, what? that's a snipe! Golly! I Man. mean, the snipe, you weren't Yo. even in frame. Yeah, we couldn't even <laughs> see it. The ca cameraman? Hello? Pinpoint Couldn't even get it. See on that one. Yes, that there it is, man. That's how you do it. So Shuton with a great comeback. I mean, he was hurting too. So like, one one good hit should have uh, sent him packing as well. But he was able to take that uh, the, with the come from behind win over Tweet. Hopefully that doesn't rattle him too much. I mean, you had a very solid game outside of just one you know, mishap on the last stock, unfortunately. So. I don't know. That purple was just so perfectly placed. And it with the was. way that we saw Shuton uh, take the reverse 3 0 against the Cola, mm. I, it feels like Shuton could load into every game as a different player. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tweak not winning that game is a huge L for him because Shuton might come with even more fire on these next ones. Yeah, and I mean, Shuton just did such a great job at the end of that last stock, just really honing in on the aggression for Tweak. Almost every single neutral was either stuffed out by an up air, getting parried, right? So just so much damage mitigated and so much 
damage on your side when you're able to read your opponent's aggression like that. So getting a little bit more aggressive with the down air, the Z drop. All still on the side of Tweak, though. Yeah, man, is this advantage? Hold it down. Hold on. Can you get this Pikmin off? And finally, with a clap, gets another one with the forward air. Shuton just kind of stuck at this ledge. Mm, good cross up there. I Jeez. like the idea of landing with that little bit of stage behind him. Yeah, man. This Tweak definitely trying to run away with this one this time around. Man, stuck at the edge of the entirety of that first stock. 21%, but you already know that uh, Olimar definitely can rack up some damage as well. Tweak, hoping for uh, Shuton to land on that platform. Trying to put some Big more damage. Jeez. Okay. Quick out of shield there. The barrels and then detonating the barrels as well. Did he just take about 6%, but it's a, a it's hefty it. amount of damage. Yeah. Correct, yeah. And this time, Tweak really honed in. These ledge traps are doing great. And, and you notice how Tweak is also kind of throwing these... Uh, ah! Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> like a ring of fire just ran around in a circle three times. It really was just daring shoot on to move forward. Like, yeah, right here? No. Control. <laughs> Right. Like Pikmin on. Yeah, not as safe as you think, that's for sure. Nice up throw. Yeah, that should do it. Especially with the rage, blue up throw. Has the banana in his hand. Let's see what he does with it. I mean, if he lands that banana, he can do so much damage with that with the two purples. But I think Tweak knows that, and so he's going to be a little bit more aggressive running and getting that grab. It's a little harder to get this banana slip on Olimar just because the Pikmin can't oh, take man. the hit, right? So Tweak trying to find the vertical. No, just up close, point blank. Gets the banana slip right into the up smash there. Now Tweak with the lead. We'll see if Shuton can do the same thing as last game. It happened at the second stock. was able to slow things down to a crawl and just slowly rack up the damage. Ooh. Okay. All right, Tweak. Got the lead right now. Try not to let it go. I think Shuton's like maybe count on him getting a little overzealous. Playing in a pretty good range. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, if Shuton just swings once and gets the right rate, yeah, he, he expected like a get up or maybe a jump there. If he got that purple up smash, that would have done it. Shuton only oh. one hit away. He wants it so bad. So close to connecting the up smash to the purple up smash. Definitely would have done the trick. Okay, command grab on top of the platform here, setting up the banana for the ledge trap. Again, vertical pressure. This is good for Tweak, though, because Tweak just has to play a little bit off tempo. And he could just wait for Shuton to swing and then disengage mm -hmm. and then just kind of like, he can weave in and out here. Diddy's very good at that. Yeah. See, even like that, just like getting above the purple forward air. Okay, does get back on the stage with the banana control as well. Two okay. purples online for Shuton. This is still very scary though on both sides of me. We lose the stock here from Tweak. Uh, well, okay, he lost one of the purples, I was gonna say, but this is in that area where if you lose the stock now with Tweak and you come back in, you get up smash once, you're taking like 70. Right. But luckily, uh, he's, he's still holding on to the stock. He's at on oh, well, not the, not the greatest lineup here for uh, for Shuton right now. Yeah. So. At least Tweak sure. has that, uh, you know, in the in the pocket. But does it really matter? Shuton has really been now just kind of fencing, boxing him out, controlling way more stays than he was in the beginning of this game. Yeah, he let that lead get away from him last game. I got to imagine Tweak just knows he needs to put this one away. Not trying to stare down that O2 barrel. He lets this one go. It is. It's not going to be the case. Yeah, no, finally. So nice. Shuton was playing so well defensively for so long, but really he wasn't getting anything done. He was just stopping Tweak from doing anything. And Tweak yep. just kind of broke through that one time and was able to get the win. But it felt like Shuton had something rolling. Just wasn't quite enough. Yeah, and I, Tweak did a really good job of not being so mashy on that last arc, right? Like, not as much nair as you saw, just a lot of staying grounded. It sucks because you're going to have to block the side Bs, but if Shuton doesn't connect any side Bs and you're just shielding them, no grabs coming out from Shuton, you can play it nice, slow, steady with the banana in hand and eventually getting that confirm into the down tilt up smash. All right, man, so let's go ahead and get into our next game. Tweak, Shuton on to game three. And I think, you know, it's really it's really hard to call it right now. It's just it is. Shuton, uh, Shuton does have that factor, though. You know, I don't know what it is about him. Like, I don't know. As Tony said, he spawns in as a different person. And uh, it really depends on what Shuton is showing up to that game specifically. Uh, oh, the Pikmin actually, the hit lag on the Pikmin delaying that follow-up there. Tweak was not able to connect the Nair into the downer. We've seen Tweak get so much mileage off of that combo specifically, especially in the MK Leo set. Why is Tweak's first stock is best. Like, Tweak's first stock, he gets, like, 
he consistently just dominates out of nowhere. It feels like it didn't go as far this time, because right now, Shuton's starting to fight back, but he'll get like 80% at the beginning of every game for free. And yeah. it's not just with one Diddy combo, it's with like two or three. It feels like he's just like, because they're on even footing, like at the start, you're just playing free, right? Like, you're not worried about maintaining a lead, you're sure. not worried about making a comeback, you're just like, everybody's on even footing, and it just feels like he's just open to that, right? Okay, purple Gets going down. Purple, uses the gun for some reason, and he dies. The peanut gun? That's weird. Those aren't like bullets, they're just peanuts. That's yeah. Weird. Does Alamari have a peanut? Well, he, he's an alien. I thought he was, oh, no. he's, a, he's from Hakate. Okay. Oh yeah, Co looked, Coney's a huge Alamari fan. Or Pigman like, oh, yeah. fan, the Literally. Series. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Like, I guess he's just humanoid in his appearance. Though. Yeah. He is a mad deep voice. Really? Doesn't yeah. he like hate his family and that's why he goes off? No, he loves his family. Hangs out with Pigman. No, he needs how dare time. you? No! <laughs> He needs his alone time. No, he doesn't. Imagine, he loves his family. Imagine yeah. hating your family so much you get stranded on another planet. You're just like, you With know what? Talking plants. Ah, peace. <laughs> you guys should play Pikmin. It's a beautiful game. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving forward, we got a, a beautiful game ahead of us right now. Yeah. Can see. Can't believe TK told people to play Xenoblade and won't play Pikmin. Come on. All right, buddy. You know what outsold Xenoblade Chronicles? Arms. Let's go, Arms. Oh. Arms, Arms, Arms was pretty fun, though. Arms was pretty fun for about a week. Anyway, you know, you can get anybody for $60. <laughs> oh, my God. For a week, get oh. Look at it, Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> well, 146 now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's just playing way right. Okay, Oh, I love Black those Star. barrels, right. actually, yeah. Just, uh, press the eject button. <laughs> That's actually the injector, yeah. yeah. I gotta get out of here, yeah. Hit the speed racer. Let me out. Jeez, look at this damage on Tweak right now. 164. Whoa. Tweak, I mean, he could definitely turn this into some... Oh, oh like, Tweak oh, is being aggressive for being at 164. Fearless, bro. Use the rage, bro. Yes, exactly. Utilize that, the pressure. Oh, okay, Juice. Don't give it up for free, though. Yeah, I'm, I mean, that was really... When Shuton went that high, there was really no other option he was coming down with. So, like, it was like you either went that high, you had to throw out a hitbox, maybe you fastball dare, uh, neutral air, mm -hmm. but he was definitely going to throw out something. And if he threw out anything that wasn't a multi hit, so he could have had an easy back air there to clean that up. Yeah. You, you know, you don't want to land on stage. Right. So, unfortunately, you know, I mean, maybe it's one of those things where, like, someone gives you such a free option, you're like, there's no way this is that free, right? But did rack up a good amount of damage and then yeah. was able to respawn with the low rage down tilt into the up smash and even things right up here. Tweak now starting the aggression once again, but this time the damage is more on the even side here, but Tweak already racking up 44. Yep, a little 44 and then hopping around too, trying to play around these Pikmin, get those get that banana out as well. Oh, wow, I can't so believe short, that So short, being missed. so short actually yeah. saved him from getting hit by banana. <laughs> that is so unfortunate, but Tweak gets another opportunity at it. Ooh, try to go for the double forward air. Try to go for the Z drop. Oh, up throw up air, the whistle comes out. Up air doesn't connect, but Tweak, so much damage here. Oh, is the Fortier enough? No, still alive. Still 132, though, especially on somebody as light as Olimar. This is a terrible spot to be in. Tweak not letting the pressure up and actually maybe a little bit too aggressive. Shuton able to fire back with uh -oh. some aerials. Oh, no. Don't oh, let no. this. Don't let Shuton start to let this thing spiral out of control. Excellent back here. Can we hold Ooh. this right side down? This will be very important for Tweak. And let's him get away for free. Wait a minute. Has the purple out, too? <gasps> Oh, the call out. The Nair is not big enough of a hitbox. And the kick from center stage. He's alive. Oh, man. This is like, this is still anyone's game. It like is. 1-7. Oh, not Ooh, anymore. Oh, no. The Z drop bear is going to find it. He says, run it back. Yes, sir. Do that. All right. Tweet, great job. One game away from getting a rematch with Spargo, who sits on the winner's side of grand finals. Yeah, and that's the new variant of the Z drop there. It's the Z drop back. Z drop there. bear, yeah. A little bit more safe, <laughs> you know. I mean, it, it, it's a little bit easier to connect as well back here, just being a little faster. Yep. And I mean, when you have your opponent at 160, 170, just you know, get the job done with the back here. So here we go. Potentially the final game here if Tweak can keep it going. We'll see how strong the early gambit is for Tweak. Because like I was saying before, it feels like Tweak's early game is just so incredibly powerful. Yeah, you got a lot on this uh, first stock Tweak, right? First Dark Tweak is good. Yeah. First Dark Tweak goes kind of crazy, I think. Uh, th I, I think that's where he like gets the lead that he manages to play with the rest of the game. Yep. So you can Ooh. see it here, already 70. And it feels like he doesn't do it with the same combo every time. Oh, the dare. Oh, great DI out from Shuzon. It looks like Tweak was maybe expecting the DI in there. 
wasn't able to connect anything after that, but still look at all this momentum, the banana in hand, everything going right for Tweak on this first stock. First stock Tweak goes crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look yeah. at this. And, and, and for Tweak now, I mean, you you have to maintain this lead, right? Like you gotta, this is, you gotta be a closer in this situation. You cannot amass a lead this solid, this strong, and let this get away from you. I know Shootown's got like, but you gotta put this away now. Yeah, man, that's honestly, that's, yeah, best thing to be said right there, because, you know, you give Shootown an inch, he will definitely take that mile. Yeah. That's exactly what happened that last set, man. He got one game, and they made those next two look like it was cakewalk, so. Yeah, but Shootown's oh, getting way too oh, aggressive. Oh. You can see Shootown just kind of swinging its shields, trying to force the issue a little bit too much. It sucks because on Olimar, you don't have the luxury of, like, the grab mix-up, right, when you're in the scramble, when you're up close, but he's just constantly landing on Tweak with aerials and trying to force his way in. Even there, getting oh. off the ledge with the neutral, air. Tweak's all over. Oh God, where right. are you going? No options being permitted from Tweak. He's moving a little I, different. I had enough. I have had enough, so. But honestly, you know, with, with the way that he lost the first game, I'm sure that that's like, you know, I should, why am I, like, basically, why am I losing? Why should I, I have such a solid lead? He's yeah. been playing like that ever since. Oh! Wow, up tilt, seldom used, but still got some good hit behind it. He's averaging a minute of stock here now. If he could just get this one last stock off, only a 50%. It's a different kind of tweak unleashed here. See if Shuton has an answer, but time is dwindling. Okay, the banana in the hands of Shuton, able to, no, doesn't get the stock for it. Gets the purple up smash, but it's not quite enough here. No rage on Shuton either. It's gonna be quite the hill to climb here. Okay, a little overextension, maybe Tweak feeling himself a little too much with that dash attack, but still, two stocks to one is gonna be rough for Shuton. Yeah, yep. He's gonna need to knock him off stage and maybe get something with oh, purple, oh, or just 75%. do, do yeah. this much damage off a single hit. You can see Shuton just racking it up. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, you can't let it happen. Yeah, He's double so purple scary. online. He's, right He's so scary. Okay. Great stall there, but you still need to get onto stage. Oh, Shuton doing man. such a good job. Has only taken 7% this stall. This is unbelievable. Shuton is, is tapped into something now. Just landing these hits over yeah. and over. We see he's got a gear that he can kind of flip to as well. Oh, no, I actually like that from Tweet. He stayed very patient. Dash attack, all right. Looks like now he's getting back on track. Shuton Not starting to have banana. some momentum, but he's letting it slip away. Tweak, man, he just wants to, wants to add oh, just a little, no, Oh, no, the monkey flip. Wait a minute. This is exactly what Shuto needed. Remember, he did like 70% of a single up smash yep. earlier. Flip it, put in the compilation. Another monkey see. flip being a, a high monkey flip being punished right there. Tweak, though, still, I mean, the, the damage is respectable, but it is something that Olimar can uh, add up uh, oh, pretty quickly. So that double purple. Yep. And imagine, oh, oh no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, didn't drift in there. Hits the monkey flip. If he drifted in, Shuton would have punished that heavily. Shuton's sitting at the ledge now. That's so scary. That weird fort smash bets it all on a normal getup. I mean, with the banana right there, I think maybe he was like, all right, Tweak probably thinks he's safe behind it, but not at all. Tweak gonna jump off the edge and then find his way back on the stage to get the down to up smash. He will be moving into grand finals play up against Fargo yet again. A rematch from main stage, except uh, from different sides. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah.